Invertifusion is a UK manufacturer of high quality, technically advanced inverter welding machines. Our machines are lightweight and portable, and the range includes models for both professional, DOI and hobby use. All professional fusion welding machines are covered by a comprehensive three-year parts and labour warranty. In this video, our resident welding expert, the TIG, will demonstrate how to set up one of our professional TIG welding machines. Our DC TIG welder range includes both 240 volt models and 110 volt versions for use on sites where higher voltage machines are not permitted. There are also models both with and without a full pulse welding capability. For the purposes of this video, we'll be using our Fusion 200HF 200 amp 240 volt machine, but the setup is basically the same for the Fusion 151HF 110 volt version. There are a number of additional settings on the PHF pulse models, which we will show you another time. Before you start, you need to ensure you have the following available as well as your welder. A TIG torch, a suitable tungsten electrode with the point ground, a colleton body, a shroud, a gas hose and an earth return, and a pure argon gas cylinder with a regulator and flow meter. Before you start actually welding, you will obviously need a welding helmet, gloves and suitable coveralls. If you have a Fusion 200 HF, you will need to fit a plug. To get the best performance from your welder, we recommend you use a 32 amp industrial plug. If you have a Fusion 151 HF, it will already have a plug fitted. Plug the machine into a suitable power supply. The top LED lights up to indicate that the power is connected. Now attach the gas hose from the cylinder to the gas inlet fitting on the back of the machine. Next you need to assemble your torch. Loosen the back cap, push the collet into the collet body and screw it into the front of the torch. Screw the ceramic shroud into the front and push your tungsten into the collet body, leaving approximately 3mm protruding from the shroud. Now tighten the back cap to lock the tungsten in place. To connect the torch to the machine, attach the DINS plug to the negative socket on the front left of the machine and twist it half a turn clockwise to lock it in place. Connect the torch gas hose to the gas fitting on the front of the machine, then connect the Amphenol plug to the socket and tighten. Connect the earth return DINS plug to the positive socket on the right and twist to lock it in place. Then attach the crocodile clamp to either your workpiece or a metal workbench. Now switch the machine on using the switch on the back. You will hear the fan start up 